Okay, you've been learning stuff in Tinkercad. What I'm going to do now is show you how to take a shape that you design in Adobe Illustrator and bring it over into Tinkercad to make a 3D object out of it. So you guys have gotten pretty good at drawing things using vectors in Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just going to make a really simple vector here. Nothing um, overly complicated, but also nothing that looks super awesome. So I'm going to click on some anchor points. I'm going to make them bendy. I'm going to make sort of like a, a round kind of, I don't know, roundish kind of shape. That looks cool. It's not quite, it's not quite a rectangle, and it's not quite a, an oval. It's kind of a roundy rectangle. And uh, so I've made that, and I'm going to do this. Uh, maybe I'll fill it in with a color. Now remember, the color is going to probably be different in Tinkercad, and then I'm going to... I'm going to kind of make it hollow, so I've sort of copied that one, and I'm going to make it smaller, like this. And then I'm going to make that one white, and I'm going to subtract it from the first one. So I'll select them both, and I'll say Object, Group, Effect, Pathfinder, Subtract, and now I have one vector shape that is sort of that rounded rectangle donut -y shape. I'm going to bring this over into Tinkercad now and turn it into a 3D shape. So I'm going to say File, and I'm going to say Save As. We have to save it as a very specific file type, an SVG file, which is the very bottom one on the list here. And we can import that into Tinkercad. So I'm going to just throw it on my desktop, and I'm just going to call it Shape, because I'm not really particularly clever about naming it. Uh, you get this, these options here. You can just say OK. And then if I go to Tinkercad, I can import uh, a few different types of files. I can import 2D graphics, um, like the SVG file, and I can also import STL files, which are the 3D printing files. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've expanded the little import tab over here. I'm going to say choose file to go out and find the SVG file we just saved on our desktop. There it is. So I double click it. Um, it asks me how tall do I want this shape to be and what scale do I want it to be. I'm just going to say import for now and worry about changing those properties after. So I say import, and here it comes. It's uploading, and it might take a moment, but there it is. It's really big, so I'm going to make it smaller. But you can see I now have a 3D shape based on the 2D shape that I drew over here in Adobe Illustrator. And of course, I'm not limited to keeping it... Um, short, I can make it a tall, sort of roundy looking thing, just like that. So you can make, because it's really easy to do some of that drawing in, in Illustrator and you already know how to do it, it's very easy to use your skills from Adobe Illustrator, draw something out quickly there and import it here to make a more complex and exciting 3D shape.